What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, this is Web Dev Journey and in today's video we're going to be talking about a potential new mini, mini series. All right. Now I say mini because it's probably going to be three, three videos long. So anyways, what is this series about? It's about streaming, right? There's a lot of streams. You, we already know that streams are very important to Node.js and there's a lot of people that don't really understand how a stream works right streaming and node.js works how does it work how can we do it and all these things all these questions pop up so in this mini series i'm gonna try to answer as much as i can about streaming now why did i say three videos a lot of people are gonna be like three videos for streams come on bro like that's 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 quite that's a lot right and to that i say there's there's type there's like there's a lot of things that go into streaming right there's a ton of ways ton, ton of things that go into streaming Readable streams, writable streams, uh, back pressure, piping streams, duplex streams, transform streams, you know, and also we got HTTP streaming, right? Streaming to the browser, handling the range requests, forking and uploading streams, parsing multi-part slash form data. We've been through that. But like I said, there's a lot of things that we uh, that we don't know about. I'm not saying that I know everything because I don't. I don't know that I'm, everything about streaming, but I do know that what, what goes into it. And I'm going to try to share my knowledge with you guys. Okay. So with that said, let's, let's just get into the video. Let's do the intro video. All right. And we're going to be talking about two types of ways to kind of, you know, do this data transfer, right? We got the buffer and we got the stream way. We got the buffer way and we got the stream way, right? And we're going to be using a water bucket analogy, all right? So I have my bucket of water right here and it's full, okay? And let's say I have another bucket over here and it's empty and we want to transfer, we want to send this water to this uh, bucket. We're going to call this the destination, right? We want to move this bucket of water over here to the destination. Now, let's say that we wanted to build a business around this, right? Moving water. So what we need to do is build a facility or get a facility at least, right? And then here we have another bucket. And this is going to be B and this is going to stand for buffer, okay? So first things first, what we need to do is move this bucket inside of this facility and then pour, let me, uh, you know, do this and then pour the water inside this bucket, inside the buffer bucket. Okay. So now this buffer bucket has all of the water. Correct. And now what we need to do now is move this destination bucket inside this facility and then, you know, fill that up with that, with the buffer water. Right. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I ate some spicy food and now it's getting to me. It's getting to me. My throat, my throat. <sighs> All right. <clears> throat> Anyways, so let, let's stop saying water. Let's say data, right? Data slash source, whatever. So data right here. This is the data. So as you can see, this is the buffer method or the, the buffer way, right? We're sending the data to this buffer bucket, right? First of all, we fill all that up and then we fill this destination over here with that buffer data, right? <clears throat> and we could say the destination is our browser. Browser, right? We could say that. <clears throat> so we have the data over here, sending it to the, buff the buffer bucket and then the buffer bucket sending it to the browser, okay? This is how buffer, uh, in the high level works okay now let's look at how streaming works which is much more simpler so we have our over here we have our little source i'm going to just say source and over here we have we have our destination that that spicy fruit is still there guys <clears throat> all right so streaming how do we do streaming well literally all you need to do is pipe a hose between the, the source bucket to the destination bucket, and this is called a stream. Okay, so bit by bit, the water or the data is going to be sent to the destination uh, bucket in here, okay? Bit by bit. So it's a continuous flow of data being sent to the destination. It doesn't have to be stopped, nor does it have to wait until all that data is already 
you know, poured, um, it's already in the destination. No, it's sending it bit by bit. So, <clears throat> anyways, enough about the analogies. Let's just get right into it and see how what what are you what are you talking about? Why 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 are you doing these analogies? These stupid analogies. Well, there's a reason, right? Some people uh, learn by visual, and some people learn by reading. So, anyways, all right. So right now we have two files: the streaming.js. This is the stream way, and right now Rich is creating a stream. I mean, create this is a server. We're creating a restream, right? We're reading a file and we're piping that file to the res, <clears throat> to the response, right? Which is our browser. So basically, while we're reading the file, we're also piping what it, what it reads to the browser, okay? And this is the streaming way. Now the buffer way over here, what we have here is a read file method where we're reading a file, whatever file that may be right now, like I said, I think I said it. It's it's an MP4, guys. We're going to be reading a MP4, a video. So right here in the buffer, what we're doing is reading that MP4. We're storing that data. This is right here. We call this the buffer bucket, right? We're storing that data in a buffer, and then what we're doing is responding back with that buffer, the data with the buffer, right? So the data is going to be sent to the destination, which is the browser. So two completely different ways of doing this. So let's see how it reacts, right? And I do have a little setup going on. This is our little setup. So that way we can see what's going on with memory. Memory is going to be the most thing that's going to be using, right? With buff when dealing with buffer or streams, memory is going to be the one taking the hit. Um, so anyways, let, let's get right into this. So I have this little setup where I could just run my program. I have five tabs open so that way we can make five requests to that MP4. And also we're gonna be seeing over here what's happening with that node process. Now the very first thing we're going to be doing is node, uh, we're going to be running the buffer.js. Now this trace dot, I mean trace underscore G, GZ is going to be tracing our garbage collection, okay? That's all it does, and I wanna show you something about that as well, so that way you get a better understanding of what's going on. So let's start this process, I mean start the buffer uh, process. Let's go there, over here let's type in node, and there it is, this is our, uh, wait, where is it at, where's node? There it is. So you're gonna see that right now, working set is, you know, this is how much memory it's using. It's 18 megabytes, okay? It's not that much, but check this out. When we, once we start making requests, I'm gonna make the, I'm gonna do it really fast. So refresh, 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 refresh. You're gonna see that this, look at that, tops out at 99 megabytes, okay? Now, you might be wondering, whoa, why did it go to 95 and then go all the way down to 35 and now it's 19 again? Now, remember, my my memory, my, the, the speed on my memory might be different than yours. So, don't worry. These numbers will change depending on what kind of memory you guys have. So, don't really worry about that too much. I'm not, I'm not, uh... I'm not trying to brag about my memory. I'm just saying that you saw that I reached the peak of 99. So, I'm just call it 100 megabytes. It was a 99,000 kilobytes, so it's 100 megabytes. I'm just put saying 100 megabytes. Um, so it topped out at 99, I mean 100 megabytes, right? And then it went back to 19 megabytes, okay? Now you might be wondering, why did that happen? Now remember the a little analogy where all the work is being done when you transfer the water to the buffer uh, bucket and then the buffer bucket to the destination bucket. All right, so now that it's in the destination bucket, there is no more work to be done. So that's why it dropped to 19,000. That 100 megabyte work or 100 megabytes you saw right here, it was, it was that work uh, where it was trans transferring through all those buckets, okay? All right, so, and little fun fact, if I did stop it right here, I could stop it and this video will always be running until it ends obviously god i hate when that happens anyways this video will will um keep on going until it ends the reason why is because this browser remember we already dumped all of the data to the destination so this browser already has all the data that it needs so it's not going to just stop it's going to keep on running if you really want it to you could probably even pause it yep you can even go see that so anyways now, the reason why I wanted to trace our garbage collection is because, check this out. We have two types of garbage collections. We got scavenge and then mark sweep, okay? Mark sweep is a bigger deal. The reason why is because it stops your node process to clean up garbage, okay? And the amount of garbage is quite a bit of garbage that it cleans up. 
So it takes a while. Now scavenge is a lighter version of that. It does not clean up that much garbage, so it's quicker. So that's what we want. We want more scavenge than mark sweeps. Look at this. We got one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. We got six of them. Six mark sweeps, which is not a really good thing. It's not really good. Um, so yeah, I'm just letting you know about like the types of garbage collections and uh, what it is, I guess. I guess I didn't explain what it is, but you could search that up if you really wanted to. I'm just saying that we got a lot of mark sweeps, which we do not want, okay? Now, let's get into the, let's try the stream.js. This was for buffer. Let's try, let me clear this out. Let's try the stream.js, okay? All right, so we're gonna do the same trace garbage collection so that way we can see the scavenge or uh, the mark sweeps. Okay, and over here, let me see if I have any nodes running. I do not have any nodes running. Okay, so let me actually refresh these so that way we get a a uh, a clean slate. And you're gonna see that there you go. That's good. That's good. That's good. Over here too, and over here. Okay, awesome. So let's start this little stream JS going there. Let's get this node process. There it is, right there, right here. And let's, I'm going to refresh it one more time so that way you could get a good look. So I'm going to refresh, refresh them pretty quick. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, and here we go. You're going to see that, what, 41. I saw 41. I, I wasn't too sure. There's probably another number there. But 41, I'm going to say 42 megabytes tops, right? And it's going to stay like this. Now, you might be wondering, well, it's going to range a little bit. It'll probably go a little bit more down, a little bit more up. But the problem is it's going to stay around this number, 41 or 42 megabytes. Now you might be wondering why is this now, right? Now remember, streaming is literally you're piping the data to the browser, you're piping it to the destination, right? So it's continuously just giving it bit by bit by bit. Now this is still working. That's why it's like it's it, you see as it, you can see right here that it's going up and down, up and down. That's because it's still working. Like I said, it's streaming the data to our browser. It doesn't do it. In, and all just in one like blop you know it's just like here it is no it's like bit by bit by bit that's why it's still working it's gonna keep on working until the video ends now the reason why i wanted you wanted to show you this because check this out where's my uh here's my stream so we got scavenge 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 uh mark sweep mark sweep mark sweep so three mark sweeps right and then we got scavenge, 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 which is really good. It's way better than the last one. Like I said, we want more, if anything, we want more scavenges than, than uh, mark sweeps. Dude, I'm thinking about Warzone over here. Like, get the scavenger. <laughs> anyways, uh, anyways, so this is just a quick overview on like, you know, stream and buffers, okay? And that's pretty much the intro of this video, guys. So let me know if you learned a little bit on like how streams and buffer works. We're going to get more into the streaming side on this series because streaming is what people or, you know, best practices revolve around. Although there are use cases where you would use buffers. Um, but anyways, uh, we're going to focus more on the streaming side of things. Okay, so uh, let's... Let me know in the comments if you like this or not. I'm just looking at the video now. Let me know in the comments. I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. I could definitely do that. Man, there's no competition here, man. There's no competition. Anyways. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching my video. I really do appreciate it, guys. Are you spending your time watching my videos? Um, it means a lot to me and thank you for supporting me on my journey. So let me know in the comments if you want me to do this series or not. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, I will see you in the next video or the series or another intro for another series. So thank you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.